I don't know what it is about those movies that kind of get me, but you know, it's say la vie. Oh, talking about movies, fuck. Um, a notice, public safety announcements, right? A PSA for all you guys out there that have Netflix, right? <clears throat> for you lasses and all you fellas out there that have got Netflix, 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 attention, attention, please. Do not, and I repeat, do not waste your time watching How It Ends, number one, and Extinction, number two. Two movies on Netflix, original Netflix movies that are absolute fucking garbage. <clears throat> now, I say this with a caveat. I'm happy they made them into movies instead of trying to split them up or spread them across 10 episodes or 13 episodes of absolute bullshit, right? So I didn't have to waste, <coughs> quote unquote, 13 hours. But I wasted an hour and a half of my time watching both of these movies that don't need to be made. How it ends is probably one of the most ridiculous movies, one of the most um, pointless movies I've seen in my whole entire life, right? It's about a natural disaster that um, overruns, I think, San Francisco or somewhere in America, right? And the basic premise of it is that these two lovers are separated once this natural disaster happens, right? And um, obviously the lover then has to, or, or the husband or the whatever, if he's a husband, I don't fucking care or no, he has to then go and rescue his wife-to-be. But along the along the way, he has to go pick up the the father-in-law who hates his guts. And during that journey, even me just talking about it, it already sounds shit. I don't know why I watched it, but anyway, the trailer got me. <coughs> this is why, if you work in any kind of sorry about that, I, I, I sound flemmy, don't I? I miss hay fever, I think, for the most part. But um, for all those people that work in the creative industries, or you are working in um, content marketing and those kind of malarkey sort of stuff. It's very important to do your content marketing to a higher level in order to get people through the funnel because it can catch people out. The trailer caught me out, right? The trailer was so well done, right? So well edited that it made me believe this movie is going to be good when it, it's not good, right? And um, me explaining it just proves it's not good. Anyway, the husband-to-be has to go uh, with the father-in-law who hates his guts and they have to pick up a band of delinquents along the way and they then have to go and save the wife, Right? And it's like a you know a story of um, building a bond with somebody that doesn't know about it, whatever bullshit is. In the end, they find rescues the girl because again, I don't care. It's not spoiler alert. Don't watch it because it's fucking garbage. But in the end, he saves her, and the movie ends. We don't know what happened. We don't know what caused this uh, so so called natural disaster. We don't know why the roads and the towns are closed down. We don't know why it turned the inhabitants into bandits and delinquents who wanted to kill each other. Nothing is explained. It just ends. Like, fuck you. Number two, Extinction. Another pointless movie. Uh, basically, the premise behind this, I'm assuming, is somehow the population of the Earth were wiped out by an alien race. But then, uh, and then they were synthesized, in, they were synthesized uh, into robots or some sort of bullshit. And their memories were wiped, but some of them still have fragments of their memories still intact. So they keep reliving this horror of being invaded by aliens and then being overrun. It's just, I st again, similar to, uh, I'm shouting a lot here, I'm getting really passionate. Apologies, let me rein it back in. But similar to my reading patterns now, I've got, I've been, uh, I think over time, I've allowed myself, right, the ability to put down a book if it's absolute bullshit, right? Because I think beforehand when I started getting into reading books and I started to really up my book intake, I was adamant that I had to finish every book that I bought. But now sometimes if I read a book and it's absolute dog shit, I'll just drop it, right? And I'm doing the same with movies because before I used to, you know you hear people say it sometimes when they go to cinema, I went to cinema to watch this so-and-so movie and it was so shit I walked out. I always think sometimes it's a little bit virtue signally. Like it's a little bit like, oh, look at me. I know what a good movie is and I'm going to make a stand and leave. Like no one cares, right? The movie, uh, the cinema already got your money. The production company's already got your money. Like no one cares, right? It, no, you're not making that much of a stand. But it's about you personally uh, valuing your time. That's the one currency that we all should be very, 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 very particular about where we spend it. Because it's something that's non-renewable. You can have money, you can lose money, or you can make it back again. It's no problem whatsoever. You could have a job, you could lose it, you could get another one. But time is the one thing that you cannot get back. And sometimes sitting down watching a movie, especially when you're watching it on Netflix in your own in the comfort of your own home, you're watching a movie that fucking sucks is one of the worst experiences known to man that don't 
encourage it on anyone i don't wish it on anyone so i'm telling you now as a psa please for those that listen for those who are um obsessed with netflix for those who like to spend their evenings in, inside and don't go outside as much as similar to me in my experience please whatever you do do not do not do not watch how it ends an extension on netflix unless you're peaked yeah because um i told someone else this the other day and and they were so they was uh they found my rant so hilarious that I was getting so angry about something on Netflix that I'm paying nine ninety nine a month for to watch thousands and thousands of titles. They found it so hilarious that they were like, you know what, I'm actually gonna watch it because if it, if it's making you that angry, it must be good. You know, which you know, take it. <coughs> I'll take that little um insult as a compliment. But I advise you, please do not watch Extension or How It Ends.